The community running charity Park Run is facing a backlash after removing speed records from its website. The decision not to publish details of Park Run's fastest runners follows a row about allowing transgender women to take part in the female category. Well, joining me now is Heather Binning from the campaign group, the Women's Rights Network. Um, uh, good afternoon to you, Heather. So Park Run says that it's just decided that it's not about uh, competitive running, it's about inclusivity. So it's removed the running, um, the, 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 the timings of runners. Why is that an issue? Well, it is an issue. We've been um, uh, pushing against Park Run for quite some time and, and a lot of sports organisations, they're not the only one, um, that allow um, men to self-identify into the female category and therefore um, win the, you know, the, the best runner, the, the, the top in the league, etc. And this is unfair to the other women that, that take part in it. And uh, it, it's quite off-putting for other women. Um, so Park Run has said, well, they're not a race. So therefore, I think they believe that if they're not a race, they are not then bound by the restrictions of national governing body to say that you should have two categories, one open and one women. And so in, in, in order to demonstrate that they're not a race, they decided to um, remove uh, these course records or not to publish these course records. I do believe they're still collected and they're still taken and individual runners are told about them. So I think it's been a bit of a sledgehammer to crack a nut. Uh, it's caused a huge uproar. It, it, we welcome it because it's brought this issue that we we're dealing with, which is gender self-identification. Uh, which is across the land and the obfuscation of language in, involved in it, where women are Is it a problem, right Heather, days. if... Explain to our viewers why you feel it's a problem if, if um, a trans woman runs in a female category. Why is that a problem for you? Well, first, I'd like to explain to all your viewers watching that the language um, serves to confuse. Trans woman is somebody who was born male, has been through male puberty, has a male body, has the physical advantages of being male. And therefore, um, the to, to win a record, for instance, there's a record, I think it's held in Aberystwyth, um, where the, um, you know, for a number of years now, nine years, that record has been held by a man who's identified as a woman. That record will never be broken. So why would other women feel the need to go and participate and be second place, be the best woman that there is, but actually not win this, the, the course record, have the status of winning course records? Male so you're men concerned that this impacts other women's participation in, in sport, is that right? It, it does. It's quite off-putting for a lot of women. Um, they do say, Park Run do say this is a, a fun run, but we have evidence, you, you see it on social media, of women who have taken part and been pushed out of the way by men running past them um, rather more aggressively, who do treat it more competitively. So I, I mean, I'm not criticising Park Run, I think it's a great concept. However, they have secured significant funding um, via Sport England, um, millions I'm talking about, um, to increase the participation of women. Now, if increasing the participation of women means allowing more men into that category, that's um, money that is not being used for the purpose of which it is intended. Right. right. I guess the question is then, where does that leave uh, a woman, a trans woman, who wants to participate in Park Run and wants to see her results on the board too? OK, so for he, in this instance, where men that are identifying as women might not, tomorrow when they go to work, they may not be identifying as trans women. They may just be a man going back to their work. So the idea that somebody can turn up and tick a box and therefore be in the female category uh, is, is quite absurd. Um, and by having an open category, which is what other sporting um, uh, organisations have, they can perfectly well run in, in an open category, but leave the women's category for people who were born female, went through female puberty and have all the other issues that females have and hopefully increase participation by women in that sport. Uh, and could Park Run not be exempt from these rules because they're not a competition, they're there for fun? And the, the idea of Park Run is about inclusivity and getting everyone involved, isn't it, on a Saturday yes. afternoon? By being inclusive, they're actually being exclusive. There are a lot of women that are excluded, don't want to participate in this 
kind of thing. The We keep being told this is a very small minority, but there are quite a number of records by, by, held by Park Run that are men identifying as women. Um, and the, the, you know, it might be a small minority, but why should these organisations be pandering to a small minority and excluding the majority? That's something that doesn't sit well with me. We see it all over a number of different areas in the UK at the moment. They're changing the language. They're removing the idea of uh, women having separate categories, whether it's health or sport or other, other activities, removing these categories. This is just one example of it. I'm delighted that it's brought this to light and that more people are becoming aware of it. Mm, I suspect the debates are going to continue. Heather Binning from Women's Rights Network, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.